Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jason, and this is Old Car Auto Guy. Today is Thursday night. This evening is Thursday night, and we are getting ready to take a big trip to Montreal, Quebec. It's about a 650 kilometer drive, and uh, we're going to see Nick at Nick's Garage. So if you don't know who that is, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below so you guys can go take a look at Nick's Garage. Please subscribe and uh, you can find out what he's all about. So uh, next time you see me, it'll be tomorrow morning and we'll start our road trip. All right, folks, we are on the road. It is 10 to eight, we're 10 minutes ahead of schedule. We still gotta make it into the US though with no issues, which I don't think there will be an issue. And it's minus 17 out, so that's Celsius by the way. It's freaking cold. It's supposed to warm up today. I think they're saying by the time we get to Montreal, it's going to be about four degrees. So, hammer down. We're on our way to Montreal. about halfway through our main trip because we did take the US route through to Montreal shaves about an hour and a half off the trip altogether and we have made it to Bangor that's right Bangor not banger Bangor that's where we are So as we get ready to uh, jump onto the uh, interstate, I-95, we're only going to be on I-95 for about 15 miles or so, and that will be about the, s the extent of the interstate driving that we're going to do through Maine. Because it's a shortcut, it does take you through the backwoods, so the next stop that we're going to have to make will be at a little place called Coburn Gore, which is a little hole-in-the-wall customs border crossing to it in back into Canada so uh, we'll be sure to show you that So we are driving through uh, the backwoods of Maine and I wanted you to be able to see the size of the snow banks here on the side of the road. Like they've even got Maine Dot out clearing out the passing lane. Like I haven't seen snow like this since I was a kid. It's crazy. So we truly are out into the middle of nowhere. And a quarter mile, continue on to Kevin Day Lines, Quebec 161 North. Thank you. And we're about uh, 0.3 miles from the U.S. Canadian border. Last and, chance uh, to U-turn. Yeah, last chance. Look at that gas station right before the border. <laughs> we were wondering whether we should take a chance on gas. Anyways, here we go. Bonjour mon ami, bienvenue en Québec.
So we are in Montreal and we have just made it almost to the St. Lawrence River, the tunnel that goes under the St. Lawrence River. It's called the La Fontaine Tunnel. And uh, once we get through that, and on the other side of Montreal, we will be in Laval and that is our destination. Hopefully we can get to the hotel and just sit and relax for the rest of the day because this last 20 minutes of driving really has been probably the most stressful of the whole trip. So we'll catch you again once we get back to the hotel and uh, we'll get some uh, footage of going through the tunnel. So we have made it into Quebec. We're actually into the heart of the city and uh, Your think, destination is on the left. I think we found our destination on the left. There's Indiano. I have finally made it to Nick's garage. And as you can see behind me is his project Kowalski car, his 70 Challenger. So. Nick is here, he's just over there making a coffee right now and he's gonna give us a little bit of a tour of the facility and tomorrow we're actually gonna come back because they're gonna be actually filming. If you watch the channel, you'll see Vasily's girlfriend's engine on the dyno. So tomorrow, we are going to be able to sit inside the dyno room and see a couple of poles on that big block Chevrolet. So for now, let's take a look around the shop. So one of the things that Nick does is he requests from all of his subscribers to send a flag from the country in which they're from. I'm from New Brunswick, obviously, and I sent him a flag. And there's the flag that I sent him right there. And while we're at it, take a look at Kowalski. Everything is brand new. No bolt has gone untouched. So guys, we have made it here to Nick's Garage and we are inside on a Saturday and this place is bustling with fans. We've got a couple of guys here, we've got Nick here and there's all kinds of people who are hanging around. So we are going to go touch base with uh, George who is the behind the scenes camera guy here at Nick's Garage. So let's go see if we can find George. So ladies and gentlemen, this is George. George is the man behind the camera at Nick's Garage. Thanks George. It's good to see you. We're looking forward to hearing some noises today. Yeah, loud ones. Loud ones. Pink ones. Loud pink and purple ones. <laughs> told Vessi it looks like Beyonce's engine. In so anyways, we're going to be into uh, the uh, dino room very shortly to take a look at the pink Chevrolet Big Block. So stay tuned for that. Lost his That's right. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. So you're getting the hands-on action here, buddy. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, oh, we got, man, uh, man. we got Jason here from New Brunswick. Yeah, good, good. He's the man who sent us the New Brunswick uh, flight. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're our flight. You drove all the way here He's to come and see this. Yeah. Well, I come here to pick up a set of heads. Perfect. But I figured yeah. I would get some Mark, footage nice while I'm meet you. Mark, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, okay, cool. So, guys, I've introduced you to the man behind the camera. Now it's time to introduce you guys to the man in front of the camera. So let me introduce you guys to Nick. How are you doing? Nick. Jason, how are you doing? Great to meet you. I'm glad we were able to make it here to pick up these heads, and okay. I'm thankful that you're allowing me to come into your garage with my camera why and not? do a little bit of recording. Of course, why not? So, Everybody wants to come in here, take pictures and uh, videos, whatever you wish. 
place is open to you. You guys, if you want to show your, your clients, whatever, this is what we have. It's not a studio. It's just a normal shop. We do uh, daily repairs and we do a lot of muscle cars. And of course, uh, we do some dyno testing on a lot of engines. We do engine building. And uh, fortunately, uh, we're doing pretty good with it. And uh, uh, we'll keep going with what we're doing. And of course, uh, we're getting so many flags coming in every week. We have to post them up. And uh, especially last night, I wanted to stay and uh, put up some flags that didn't have a chance because we had to do some other things. Then, of course, uh, uh, you know, we get parts every day, building cars for clients every day here. And uh, it's a zoo here today. Of course, it's a Saturday, as you can see. We're always doing something, you know? Yeah, well, I've already we, made reference. We've always before, got something to do. Before I introduce you, I, I showed the, the crowd of guys that were in here in the shop. Oh, yeah. Of course, some of them have dispersed by now. Yes. Uh, and I've already taken some video of all these flags. And Nick asks all of his, cust uh, all of his viewers to send flags in from the country that they watch the channel from. That's so exactly. yeah. much like I do with license plates, guys, if you haven't sent me in your license plates yet, now's the time to do it. Address is down below. That's right. Well, it all started with one guy from Australia stating me that, uh, you know, we had the a few flags only. Then they, uh, they started uh, comments on YouTube saying, how come we don't uh, put our flag up, you know? And that's where I came in and said, you know what, you guys, uh, if you guys want your flag from your nation to be put up in my shop, you're more than welcome to send it to me, and it was my, with pride, I'll put it up in my shop. Like I've done most of them up here already. I'm getting a lot of duplicates, triplets, uh, flags. I overlapped them up as we're gonna run out of space very soon. But you know what? It makes the shop look beautiful, colorful, and of course, we are an international garage on YouTube. And if you look back there in the, in the very corner, you'll see the New Brunswick flag, and that is the flag that I sent Nick back in the fall. Oh yeah, That's, uh, that, that flag came in quite a while ago. Yeah. Maybe you can help explain to my viewers a little bit about these heads here. Okay. So I've showed them on camera to you guys. These are the heads that I've come all the way from New Brunswick to pick up. These yes. are J heads. J heads. And yeah. maybe, you, Nick, you kind of know the ins and outs a little bit more than I do on these J heads. Maybe you can yeah. explain they're to nine, them. They're 915 castings. They're J heads. They had them back in the, uh, I believe in the, uh, even in 1970 they had them. And uh, they're not the 202 valves. They're the, uh, what size is that? One. Uh, nine uh, something like that just under 202 and they'll do the job because the other later model 360 heads have the uh, smaller valve with a very small intake runner but in this case you have a bigger intake runner with this size valve so if you're looking for a little bit more performance this is the way to go and all you have to do is just clean the bowl area keep the same valves do a good valve job put a nice set of valve springs and seals and you're good so guys, as we wind down this episode of Old Car Auto Guy at Nick's Garage, I hope you had some fun watching all the action that's going on here. And uh, hopefully you can go over and check out Nick's channel. He's a big channel, he's much bigger than I am. And I know that he would appreciate all your support. Guys, t-shirts and hoodies are always available at bonfire.com. First link in the description box below. Hope you can go over there and support my channel in just one more fashion by sporting some Old Car Auto Guy swag. Also, guys, Thursday night live streams are still going on until we get to the 1,000 subscriber mark and maybe even beyond. Everything seems to be working out really well for us, so uh, we appreciate everybody who stops in and joins that live stream, the live stream with Straight Six Fan and I. And I will put his information right over here, so you can go to his channel and subscribe there as well. That way, you get notifications when he is hosting the live stream. And I hope that you have done the same for me. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Old Car Auto Guy family. Guys, I end every video by saying this. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. Guys.